I haven't done one of these who can beat Voldemort in about a week or two, so let's talk about someone who can obviously beat Voldemort in a duel. Harry frickin' Potter. And while that's not actually his middle name, it's obvious he can beat Voldemort in pretty much any type of duel, be it fair or with Voldemort's constant cheating, throwing a vat of cadaver around like the one-trick pony he is. Not only did he completely obliterate Voldemort as a baby, he thwarted his plans to grab the Sorcerer's Stone and kill Quirrell in the process, he beat him in the Chamber of Secrets, totally ganked his basilisk, stabbed the crap out of his little diary, proved he was absolutely more powerful than Voldemort when he pushed the gold orb into Voldemort's wand during the little duel in the graveyard, because that's what happens when your wands link this way, it becomes a battle of wills and Harry absolutely trounced him. He also forced Voldemort out of his mind in the duel in the ministry. I mean, Moldy Voldy's supposed to be so powerful, but can't even maintain control over a teenage boy's mind. During the Battle of the Seven Potters, his wand even obliterates Lucius Malfoy's wand when Voldemort comes after him with it. So Harry's wand alone is more powerful than old Moldy Voldy. Okay, that last one's just funny, but this kid repeatedly shows that he is more powerful than old Moldy Voldy, and not just because of plot armor either, that's a lazy argument. Harry understands love, and love has a very real power in the wizarding world. Voldemort refusing to learn from his mistakes is not plot armor for Harry, it is Voldemort being an idiot. And if that makes Harry more powerful than him, that's his problem. Harry repeatedly shows an ability to cast spells at higher levels than other wizards can cast, such as his Patronus. He casts a corporeal Patronus in the shape of a stag. Almost every witcher wizard can cast the Expecto Patronum spell, but most of them cannot conjure a corporeal Patronus. It's the same thing with Ginny Weasley's Bat Bogey Hex. She consistently casts it at a level higher than most people can. It's mentioned several times in the books that you would not want to be on the receiving end of it because it's abnormally powerful. It seems that many of the spells Harry casts are overpowered, including his Expelliarmus spell, which is like his bread and butter, or the shield spell he casts that knocks Snape on his rear end in the sixth book. And that's why the plot armor argument is utterly ridiculous. Time and time again, he proved to be more powerful than Voldemort. And if understanding love gave him that power, then so be it. That's on Voldy to learn some new thing, not on Harry to forget it, just so that the Voldy lovers have some sort of argument against him. And as it was proven time and time and time again, in a duel, Harry will come out on top every single time because he has that little extra je ne sais quoi, that love, if you will. It wasn't plot armor that defeated Voldemort, it was his own inability to learn anything new.